How often hasn't this happened to us? The phone always seems to ring when we're doing something like this, or in the bath. Until recently, there was nothing we could do about it, unless we were particularly ingenious, like this Cambridge doctor who's invented his own solution to the problem. If he's out of the surgery when a patient rings, the voice is automatically recorded so that he gets the message later. That's a slightly primitive apparatus, admittedly. So over now to a factory in Camberley, Surrey, where the basic principle of the automatic telephone has been considerably developed. Here, practically every aspect of scientific achievement in the realms of electronics, for example, can be seen in the production of this revolutionary machine. If you get muddled mending a fuse, how would you like to tackle this little lot? Each machine has 80 to 90 different wires that have to be soldered. In place of the doctor's old gramophone turntable is a tape recorder. The magnetic tape is cut into lengths that make up into a loop with a pre-recorded message informing startled callers that the person of the house is unavailable, but they can talk to the robot answer phone. Every part is checked for faults. That, by the way, is an oscilloscope for checking sound. A wow and flutter meter detects any imperfections in the recording mechanism. It doesn't seem possible that so much equipment and wiring can go into one small box, but then these days we seldom stop to think about the modern wonders around us. They're taken for granted. Mr. Brown is not at home, but will you please leave a message? Speak slowly, speak now. To conform to GBO regulations, the machine is sealed. The answer phone can answer back, but it mustn't be rude. Anyway, to see how it works in practice, we call at the office of Mr. Peter Cadbury, chairman of a well-known ticket agency. Oh. Well, would you ask if you'll give me a ring later on this evening? Oh, by the way, it's Bill Phillips here. Johnny here. I saw the manager tonight, and he's quite willing to cooperate either on the 24th or the 28th. Just one indication of what the future holds for us, for tomorrow is the robot age.